Good afternoon, Mind Healers, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day where you are. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful here today, a beautiful sunny spring day. I'm going to talk about isolation and spending time with you to learn more about you today. But what I'm going to do is you're going to watch me have some fun putting up a tent on my own, which is my practice run for when I go camping on my own in about three weeks time. I've wanted to do this for a very, very long time just to spend some time with self. And it's actually at a caravan park where there's no Wi-Fi and it's a little bit out and about, but I really want to go there to learn more about myself and be more in tune with my higher self and um, the spiritual being that I am on the inside and to understand what's happening on planet Earth right now and about the decisions that are being made and what's happening and I thought that would help me so we're gonna have some fun and I'm gonna have a go at putting up this tent without the help of anybody else which I've never done before so this is a five person tent I'm gonna put up the dome I'm gonna put up the dome part of the tent so it's um, from one of our local department stores here so I'm gonna take that out first and uh, then I'm going to look at the groovy instructions, which uh, I don't know about you, but when you do Ikea, it's a bit challenging. But here, I think it should be pretty easy. So uh, I'm just looking at the instructions. Yep, that looks pretty cool. So I'm going to undo this because I want to have a practice run and see whether I can manage to put up this thing on my own. Tent, this is like $85, so I guess um, I don't expect it to be, you know, lasting very long. As you know, they don't make things like they used to. Okay, so let me group my instructions. So, step one make the poles up. So, the poles. Okay, here we go. So, I'm making up the black pole. but that's okay we can manage it right so come on No negativity going on here. All right, so it says take out the fiberglass pole from the bag, assemble the poles by each section joined together. Yep, stage two, spread the pole in a V shape. Erect the tent with the pole arched right. So that means we have to have the tent here a bit. Over in the middle. Okay. Just 
got a bit over each edge. And then we've got this piece here. Now I'm guessing, I'm guessing that we need to tie that up. So let's have a look. Yes, it looks like erect the tent with the pole and insert the pole ends into the in the pin. Okay, so now I'm putting the pole into these clips. Get on here. Okay. Right, so I'm going to need to put it through the pole first. Ha ha ha. Alright, so as we go. This is where I thought I might have an issue. I might have to do a tape shoe. we need to do is put the poles in the ends. This will be interesting. This will be the challenge for the magic. So here we go. Put one of those ends in there. That pretty much needs to do. to go.
So now we're squaring up, Tim. Mm -hmm. Squaring it up. And there we go. We've got that much of the tin up. Yay. All right. Let's have a look at our instructions. The next thing is to withdraw the clips. So these are the clips. Let's put that on. Just get that clip. Okay. That did not take very long to do that part, did it? Considering it's my first time. Now the next thing is to put this over the top. So what we need to do is look at the front and the back. So it looks right. Because this has a, what they call a, a vestibule at the front, which is a little area where you can do it and all that sort of thing. And I am not a tall person. I'm about 165 centimetres. So what I've got is a door and do it at the front and the back. So let's see another door. Yep. So it's like that's the way it goes. Looks like. Go. So it looks like that's where it goes. And then I put the other rod in there. The rods in here. So this will be interesting. Here we go. Let me move you. I'm moving you over here so you can see what I'm doing. So here we are. This is the front of the tent. You can see I don't have a lot of room, room to work with, but hey, if I can do it here, I can do it anywhere. So, so far we're at 13 minutes, so that's why I'm timing it because this is my first time having put this tent up. So be really really good for you guys to know how how much time it took and I'm not going to get Yeah. 
This is the area you can put your esky. I'll just move this up for you. Right. So you can see, then what I will do is pull this out. We've got a nice bit of space in here. And all I have to do is put some hooks in these black ones here, and I can pull that right out. And I've got a front area of the tent, the inside of the tent. Um, that's actually really good. So here I am at 16 minutes 30. So why is it important that we have time to ourselves? A lot of people find that a little bit scary to look inside and see what's been going on in our lives. But here, you know, I just want to prove to people and I will be doing some videos while I'm away. Um, because I don't have any Wi-Fi while I'm there, but I will, will drive into town um, nearly every day because I like having my coffee and uh, I will be doing yoga and meditation and all those sorts of things and spending some quiet time by myself, you know, by the beach there. They've got some beautiful stingrays, etc. So I'll share that with you. But to go camping by yourself, it's not that scary. I mean, I've just put up the tent in 16 minutes, no problem. Just need to put in a few hooks, etc. And it's cost effective. You get to be with Mother Earth and close to Mother Earth, which is one of the main things that's been calling me for over a year or so now, is being more with nature. It's just so in my heart that I really can't even express how much so that I am being called to Mother Earth because I'm here for this time and space to help humanity to go from 3D to 5D and to be able to help them to cope with the changes that are happening in the world and that mainly is why I'm here. You know, I love to help people and you know, if there's anything, subjects and things that you need help with, please do let me know. I'm gonna do five tips on um, having been isolated and healing from isolation and um, you know, the mind manipulation and why that has happened and how that can affect us moving forward, but how we can also conquer those type of things and, and uh, not allow it to uh, belittle us and um, degrade us and um, to be able to squash our energetic level and to be able to squash who we wanna be, where we wanna be, what we really need to be envisaging, envisaging whew, that word, <laughs> every single day of our lives is where we want our world to be moving into the future and for me that's a that's a world of joy it's a joy of, it, it's a world full of peace it's a world full, full of visionaries it's a world full of financial freedom and it's a place where people get to live as our creator created us for and that is to coexist in unity in humanity and to love one another freely, spiritually, and individually. And that with all our individualization and creativity, we can create the magical world that we have in the past and the magical world we will have into the future because the shift is happening. Well, bless you all. Thank you so much for watching me put up the tent just to prove that it can be done, a vestibule tent for five people by one person. And I wish you all a fantastic day. If you like my channel, please do subscribe and click the bell. And please leave a comment if you'd like to. Thank you so much for your time today. Have a fantastic one. It's magical. And may the light in me always shine in the light in you. Bye everyone.